Well, it's been a fixture off the 210 for 40 years, but the Miller Brewery in Irwindale will soon be shutting off its taps. It's a possibility. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live with details on the expected closure. Tina, good morning. Good morning. There's a lot of uncertainty about what will happen here in Irwindale. We don't know if it's time to pour one out for this brewery or if a new owner might come in and simply change that iconic sign out front. I'd hate to see a landmark tore down because um, it is. It's a landmark. The Miller Brewery has been operating in Irwindale for 40 years and in Azusa before that. Back in the day, it was considered one of the best places to work in the area. I heard stories from the guys that day. At lunchtime, they would drink beer. At break time, they drink beer. Of course, that perk dried up long ago, but the jobs at the brewery were still coveted. We had a few people that used to work here that gravitated over to Miller's um, over the years. Um, because of the benefits and what they had going on there. Until now, Molson Coors announced Monday that they're closing the Irwindale facility in September. Many in the community are shocked. People drink beer and it's like you would never think it would close, you know. But a Molson Coors spokesperson says people don't drink as much beer as they used to, so they can meet demand by increasing production at their other facilities in Colorado and Texas. As for the 470 employees who currently work in Irwindale, the company says they'll work with those who might want to relocate. But they're also giving Paps Brewing Company the option to buy the facility for $150 million. Many are hoping that deal will work out so the taps here can keep flowing. I hope that the new uh, place come, that comes in would uh, retain some of their employees and, uh, you know, work with them. But, you know, you never know. Right now, it's not known what will happen. A spokesperson for PAPS tells me that they are going to work with their supply partners and evaluate this possibility and then do what's best for their stakeholders.